All right, so Mr. Man, Mr. The Holy Bible wanted us to do a VOD review of a game. Uh, he is an amazing off meta top laner playing by top, but this game was by jungle. He wanted to just have a couple couple thoughts. He wanted to know what I thought about. Uh, let's let that go. Uh, he wanted to know what I thought, thought about just this game in general. Most because if you watch his play, he was saying it felt like I was doing things right, but he just didn't know what to do into uh, aggressive junglers. So we snatched up this game. Um, he had a positive KDA, but, uh, just things weren't, weren't going right for him. So, uh, we're going to kind of check it out. What do we got? So, all right. So we're war ordering, uh, ordering. I'm going to set it to just blue side. Oh, good. We are, oh, I thought it said that they died. <laughs> all right. So he's going to, looks like he's going to try to start our top side. And with that ward, they know that, uh. Oh, oh, good. Oh, get outplayed. <laughs> good to see it. Okay, he's gonna start top side. Start W start all right. Everything looks correct for uh for Vi so far. W starts really really strong for all these single target ones because you just break them down so hard. And I can't see another one to be using unless for some reason you think you're starting Raptors, which is probably wrong. <laughs> Okay, so he's pinging that he's going on for a uh, a level three gank. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I mean, Ribbon's backing, and she's backing with uh, she got first blood, so she's backing to probably go get another. Yep, another longsword. Uh, so I don't think that they win that, even if it's the both of them, just because as Ribbon's gonna be able to just do ooh, some damage unless uh, Pantheon goes in immediately. I don't. I don't I don't know. I it's not a bad play. Eh? I just think there's you could be having a different effect on the map. The other issue you've got going on is that it's this Ezreal into Zoe. Now Zoe just has really good gank setup because if Ezreal messes up, uh, Zoe's E just snaps him up. Uh, he told me he tried to. Oh, oh, he is. He's going down. He's coming in. Okay, I mean, this is looking good. The issue is that you got Braum uh, making sure that it's crashing. So the other... Okay. Oh, yeah. So this is another key part to this. He is in... Okay. I mean, that's fine. That's kind of the, the issue is that he needed Swain to step up. And I understand that he... Uh, like, Swain should have been the one to step up there. Because... He, he, I think he was expecting Ash to still be there. And his thought was that he could kill Ash. Um. Ooh. Uh oh. Well. Ooh. This Pantheon. How is Pantheon on a level ahead? He got dumpstered er, right at the beginning. Huh. Well. So I'm gonna stop it right here. Uh, let's see if I can grab my my pen here. So right now, oh, oh, he just has kind of, I just has a lot going on that I wish I could say that like, like he's just he's just great eight, but this is shoved. Pantheon's been kind of fighting a lot, and Pantheon has the level lead. Let's not forget that. And I mean, he's got the the death. Uh, lead at the moment <laughs> but it's it's not too bad um i think after this death what he should be doing and uh i'm sorry after this clear is trying to get uh maybe bot scuttle because we saw kha'zix top uh it probably would be smart to go here to bot scuttle just to uh, just to secure it and then and to krugs if he's uh if he wants to get to level four by that time um, either Riven will be, he had the, the wave will actually be fully pushed up because even though, oh, there's a pseudo, um, uh, 
uh, even though there's like a pseudo reset, I mean, this is going to start closing in. I think this one's probably in range of the, uh, of our, of the tower here. Oh, it's not. I think I thought it was about to step into it. It is just outside of it. But it looks like they, yep, just outside. So with the cannon way, if wise, well, he's got tons of time. Okay, he's hitting the, hitting the scuttle. Everything is looking like, I think it's good to go. Uh, if I, okay, I was going to say, if I were Ezreal, I would kind of just hold, hold back and wait, but he's not doing that. He is just mindlessly farming, and that's not good for him. Uh, because again, like, he can't really commit to anything without Bible there. Because Zoe has as an, as good, uh, CC, she's just got a lot of good stuff going on. Uh, they're shoving in, and yeah, he could be looking for it, but right now, I don't, I don't think that they can step up again unless Swain steps up into it. There's nothing that they can do. So I would just back here. There's no real reason to stick around and unless you're just trying to make plays. I know that Vi can take uh, uh, can take this pretty early. Uh, I don't even think she needs to be level 5 to do so. So maybe this is all, all right. He knows Vi much more than I do, especially for the jungle. So he can probably only take it uh, solo. The issue is that in the same way we have Kha'Zix who's got out of Serrated Dirk and he has no items, which means he will get a one tap if he, uh, uh, if Kha'Zix just happens to be going there. So luckily for him, it's not what happened. He gets out. Um, I mean, right now he saw Kha'Zix there. I don't think Ezreal can really, again, he can't really play for anything without, out, uh, without Bible there. So. And again, he's got no, no items. He can't really commit to anything either. So we're just, we're just in this weird holding pattern of let's, let's figure out what's going on. And unfortunately, while he was down in their bot outside, it just wasn't up at the time. So we got a, got a couple things to deal with for Kha'Zix. Um. So, let let's talk about out, out one thing before or we uh, one thing as he's going on to clear these. Ah, uh, shoot! I keep hitting spacebar. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, while he's clearing stuff, um, I mean, in general, Hasik just does better at, at these ganks. You have an Ezreal mid, and this this lane's just not really gankable for Orium unless Vi commits entirely to this. And I wish that I could tell you that, that it's okay to do that, but there's just not a lot going on in, in order to, to really uh, commit in that way. Okay. So they do see Kha'Zix looking to back. Um, I, I know that they didn't really see it, but... There's probably a chance. Yeah, Bible saw it. Okay. He's starting to ping. I was like, uh, he may be looking here. Yep, there it is. I about to say, I wouldn't be going back in. I wouldn't have even charged that in their face. They know that you're standing there because, uh, you walk over a ward. It's real unfortunate, mostly because while all that stuff's going on, I mean, what is he, what is he supposed to do other than just like soak up XP? and just hold the wave for him. I mean, soaking up XP is not bad, especially with the fact that we don't really have, have any uh, any objectives on the map. Uh, the only one really coming up is Harold, so he's fine to do this, especially with Pantheon coming back up. He's going to pull the wave. Ave, Ave, what a homie. The issue is that he's taken a lot of just, like, like freaking minion aggro. Now, I wish I could tell you that's okay, but it means that he has to back on a subpar amount of gold. He just gets boots for that back. It kind of sucks to be him right now to do that. He's, he's just, he, he's, he's misusing his time. I'm, um, when unfortunately Kha'Zix is, every time he's hit the map, he's caused a flash. He's caused, uh, some kind of thing to happen, whether it be, uh, somebody dying or, um, uh, or, uh, getting resources from the enemy team. Um, 
Some of that is due to, to Bible just not being uh, super proactive. I know he was saying that that was a little bit of his issue, but uh, finding the moments to do that with these kind of ends of lanes is a little bit difficult. Um, the only one that seems like, and again, I, I know that he is duoing with the bot laner. Um, the bot laner and the support aren't duoing, which is really important to, to bring up. Um, this roam from Swain, I mean, the issue is that we don't know where, we don't know where Kha'Zix is, we don't know where really anybody is, and it was just, it, you're just not getting a lot for it. So let me pull back to bot eye as we're clearing up. I mean, he can hop over the wall and get, uh, and get minions, uh, which is probably what I would, I, I mean, at this point, uh, oh, never mind, he is, uh, oh, Oh, if he got that, that shit would have been sick. That would have been incredible, but... Uh, good job of looking out and trying to make that play, though. Uh, wow. I I know that Kha'Zix doesn't have any damage, and he used a lot of his cooldowns to kill the, uh, kill the Herald. Um, so... Sucks that that's the case, and but he got the shutdown. I mean, he took him off the map. Unfortunately, he still gets the uh, the Herald old charge though. So that means that you do have have to actually respect it. Um, I know that they don't know this, um, as unless they understand in the gold really well. But uh, Riven's going to come back with the first uh, should be the first mythic. Oh no, Ezreal's got one. The first lane mythic. Now Ezreal's got one. Okay. Bam. Okay. Well, uh, Pantheon's in trouble now. Um, he's been so far just been behind. When you're like this, I don't like going full damage. Um, if you're not like a lane bully like uh, Kled, um, just because at this point you're a utility uh, champion. Making a play down here. I mean, that that sucks. Cause uh, Bible was just up there, right? I mean, he would have been. So this isn't for Bible. This is just a. This is just a a point I need to say, just in general. But I don't know why Pantheon's down here. here we have Kha'Zix, who's just us massive. We have. Uh, the bot lane who like they're they're pretty much they're i mean they're ahead they were ahead in gold old i think that they had a bat act that uh that our that the blue bot outside didn't have so but right now they're about even in gold but uh there was a what a four man and bot side and pantheon's ulting into uh, like a pre-started fight where it's a 4v2 I just don't think that you get anything for doing that. And realistically, he's behind. He should just be going back to lane. I mean, he's not that far behind, behind as far as gold. Because if you look, I mean, it's two U kills. So what is that? Like, a, I think he's like less than a thousand gold behind. Um, what is their level eight to eight? I mean, he's he's no, like the deaths don't say that. Oh yeah, I, I, you better believe it. I, I'm trying to give you as much help as I can. But just just for Pantheon's sake, because this actually gives Riven a lot out of gold here. here there's what? Set, uh, yeah, full entire wave he's going to miss. Um, he's got, probably going to miss another one because he's still here while it's crashing. Of course he gets this wave. But he's also giving plate gold. He, he's given up a lot to this Riven who's who's already ahead. Again, not ahead by a lot, but it's still enough to where it's a problem that you gotta, you, you have to start recommending this stuff. Anyways, let's get back to uh, Bible's play so we can, we can kind of help him out. I'll get a couple things figured out. Um, so he's looking and luckily he's got a heads up play instead of going for, uh... Ooh, uh, Kha'Zix made a boo-boo. <laughs> Oh, that was real close. I think that at nicked him, but it did not kill him. Um, the issue is that even though they get that, 
for missing two full waves and including a cannon wave, and she got a plate gold. That's that's a big swing. It's hard to really say uh, how much of the swing that's going to make for him at the moment, just because uh, I don't, I did not see. He still does not have his eclipse, and she got that as well. That's a that's a big swing. Um, she's gonna come back with a uh, vamp scepter. So she's up well over a thousand gold now. Um, and she's a uh, probably about half a level up at this point. It's hard, hard to say just off the... Oh, that was a nice try at the block. But why is Johnny on the spot here trying to keep it up? But um, let's see what he can do. The issue is he used his ultimate already. And he's trying to make the play. Hey, if Kha'Zix wants to commit, I think he gets one shot. He may die trying to do it, so maybe it's not worth but... Um, he is without, he, yep, yep, I, yeah, <laughs> he didn't have, have his wave, so in Kha'Zix, that, that was a, maybe it's he's just tilted already, but even Kha'Zix, without being as far ahead as he is, gets a lot of stuff because he just doesn't have a wave. Part of what Kha'Zix's, uh, ability is, is it includes minions, if the, um, if you are with minions, uh, it, he deals reduced dan uh Sorry, he deals increased damage if you have no one by you. So it's the opposite. But uh, oof. fortunately, oh, good, good flash. I mean, it sucks that we're in this position in the first place, but that is not a bad flash to be here with. Oh, you grab uh, Brom. I think this could be something. Oh, and, and we give up the, the rush. I think the fourth shot probably could have killed Braum. It would have been close because it is Braum. But without killing Braum, um, they have a free engage age to do something. And now Ash can just block for free and not have to worry about a dang thing. Ooh. Oh, got it anyways. And right now we're just kind of on a push in. There's nothing going on on the map, so we hit our camps. That's all, all that's good. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh. And he does this. Oh, oh, about saying he does the smart thing and kills himself up to the tower. That's actually really good, because even though he got the kill for Ash, uh, he gave the kill L to someone. I mean, we don't want Kazix any stronger than that, <laughs> as much as you can help it. All right, we got Riven back. I mean, I would. The issue is that they know where he's standing at. I don't know why he's pinging that he wants to go back. Like he needs to just go O2 uh, to to Riven now. Um, uh, he does have his ultimate up. There it is. He's gonna pop it early. I, even though it doesn't matter, they, they score the kill. She has the stun and a couple of other uh, tools to get away. I may have tried to save it just for that, but luckily it didn't matter. Um. I'd say I don't know what he's really waiting here for, um, other than just to save Swain. I wish that was I, I if if Swain had a shutdown or something like that, this would be a, a pretty good play a to stick around. Swain should just be back acting off. I mean, it's only Brom. Brom doesn't really have good wave clear. He's not a he's not a landing kind of champion. So uh, I don't know what he's he's staying there for su the support battle i think vibe probably should have just pinged him off and and left if like like if he wants to <laughs> i i'd say throwing away his life is uh is his decision and you just need to play your game and uh and let him go so oh that was a really strong juke he's giving time to uh to clear if this can't amp by doing that oh we're in here uh, he does not have, uh, oh, that was real clean. Uh, so he does not have his ultimate, so, uh, if they commit, he's just gotta commit to something. Oh, that's big damage. He's probably gonna back up here at this point, because he doesn't have, have anything to really heal. Oh, he, he is, uh, playing with fire doing that, because, uh, yeah, they can, yep. And now he had to use his, uh, his ghost for not a whole lot, which really sucks. But, anyways, we are where we are. Uh, kind of just playing the zoning game at this point, right? Um, 
I mean, we're pretty even on drag. They just got the second one, so it's not too bad, but... Oh, Pantheon's going in further, and we're backing off. I mean, this is the right play. Hey, like I was saying with Swain, I mean... Trying, trying, trying to let, like, win in so we can let Sl uh, Swain win and, and, and live is not is not where we want to be. We don't want to be playing around on people with, uh, with with bad positioning and stuff like that. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you're just in that way where you're where you're forced to. But um, we have at least one team member that we know that we can play around, and that is our four man engine. Holy crap! Um, yeah. Uh, at this point, Kha'Zix is so strong from uh, from from farming these two lanes. There's just not a lot not to do. And unfortunately, in this case, he's he's not, he's making play A's, but I the 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 gank mid it unless he has ultimate and can ult right off the bat i don't think that they get that unfortunately so like like it, it's more he's just wasting his time until he has the uh resources to do stuff so i don't know it'd certainly be e worse uh doing worse than we are but i think I don't want it like this. Yep, and then ult. Oop. And again, if we had like Ezreal or someone like, like that to... Uh, I would be pinging that we need to turn on Kha'Zix. Because... Like, I wouldn't have even used the ult on... I would be waiting for Kha'Zix to use the ult on. Because there's just nothing that, uh, that they're going to be able to do. To, uh, to Kha'Zix once he tries to get away. I know Zoe's there, and that's why Zoe got out really low, but... It's just, it's just not a lot you can do when it's like that, you know. You 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 kind of just have to stay a target focused. And right now, even though Zoe's strong, the target has to be uh, has to be Kha'Zix still, just because he's got such a uh, strong self heal with his ult. Just that everything Ings in hit is court here. So, um. Ah. Okay, so reset, reset focus. Right now we're rocking um, Yomu's and um, and Black Cleaver. I mean, Black Cleaver's pretty strong, um, but I mean the only person until now uh, with uh, with Riven getting armor this second. Uh, we don't really have anyone that we're worried about for, like, actually reducing his damage. So, I don't I don't know the reason for Black Cleaver, other than maybe it helps him in a different way. But that's not, uh... Itemization is not my strong suit with, uh, with Vi at all. So, uh... He probably... He, I'm certain he knows something that I don't. In fact, I... I that's what I'd assume. Now we're chasing, we're chasing Kha'Zix, I mean, it's, four eye fire, okay, so I mean, we're pushing, um, we're forcing them to actually come, um, to, um, um, to, okay, they got at, at a nice tower, the issue that's going on, though, is that we have a 2v2 that they targeted what looks like the Braum, and unfortunately, that is not the champion to target. Uh, so they lost the 3v, uh, 3v3 that was going on when they had to rotate 8 to the... Uh... Yeah, and uh, someone's getting a little annoyed, <laughs> but it's okay. We just reset, reset your head. I don't know what we're doing, trying to r rush uh, Riven. Just clear. Here, try to try to get everyone there. That's all you can really do. Try to stay Abe off the push. Uh, Swain Inc. can Swain does have, have some wave clear, so he can certainly do that. The issue. Oh, oh, I would not be doing that. Oh, he does have his ult though. All right, never mind. 
And he's just, he's just better. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, without... Yeah, without his ult... His ult is sincerely the only... Um, the only thing that's going to turn earn the tide out of a lot of these fights, and he really needs to make sure that he gets them. So, okay. Well, we got we got what they needed to get. And, uh... Jin's out. I mean, we lost by, but we got uh, uh, to even up the dragons. Unfortunately, I wish it was more or something like a mountain dragon. Uh, this could just give some free... Uh, free defensive stats and as much as an ocean drake is nice uh we're kind of facing assassin um bruiser mage and and just more and more uh our damage so this is a, a very high damage team other than brahm so i would much rather have a mountain drake but uh ocean drake at least gives us some a little bit more sustain um but so things are not uh are not looking super strong. Man, I can definitely see the tilt is on for him because he's taking waves that uh that not that he shouldn't be either, but right now he's definitely the champion that needs to be at every fight and needs to uh needs to be there. So like right here. He's rotating immediately, but he's pushing into the wave. Not that that's an issue, but um, I would just be looking not to show as much as possible. I don't know what Pantheon's doing rotating to this. There's just nothing really going on. He should be there with the wave soaking up more XP more or CS just because he's so far behind still. Luckily for Vival, he's doing that, so he gets some free gold, but um, there's just some general macro plays that aren't from Vival that are that are causing a disparity on the team because the two champions that can really uh seal lock this down on against uh Kha'Zix are Vi and Pantheon and uh we're getting the shutdowns I mean I mean now unfortunately we have GA up so uh you need both of them to be fighting I think and Vi to have ult in order to make this play really strong Because uh, he comes back up, he is just going to tap you again. Or get out. One or, one or the other. Three. Okay. Alright. Uh oh, I would not be doing that. Uh oh, uh, see you later. Yeah, someone doesn't know oh, how Kha'Zix works, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that was really dumb. So, Ka like I said, Kha'Zix gets more damage from uh from from being from you being out on your lonesome. He is the assassin. And I mean, fortunately or or fortunately, however you want to look at it, uh. I which is he going? Uh, it looks like he's going. I'm trying to see what uh, which runes he's going. I don't remember how to look at that. <laughs> there we go. I was like, I think it's C, but okay. All right. I mean, he's going on uh, fleet footwork. So uh, kiting mid game, and we have Jin. Who, like I said. Unfortunately, and I don't like thinking about it this way. Of you have a teammate that you can play around. You know their skill level. You know oh their 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 strengths. Oh, oh not a problem. Uh, I'm sketch. Don't don't worry about heading back to work. Or, that is quite all right. And unfortunately, the time that Pantheon comes back is the time where he's by himself. <laughs> I, that is really rough. He should have definitely been soaking up those waves, because now, if we look at just the 
just the level that if as a whole oh i mean is a uh, is not good for him because he's behind in cs he has a he has more ki like kill participation than riven but he's so far behind in every other facet that it, it that it doesn't matter that the kills are so minuscule like he's three levels behind and it's from him roaming and trying to make those plays when in general about three waves is about the same as a kill um and he's missed multiple three waves in a row um just due to him wanting to push up this one's another uh ocean drake and yeah it really sucks that they get that at, but remember the one that, that they probably care about more, weirdly enough, is uh, a Mountain Drake. So, Ocean Drake probably isn't the worst one on the... On... Luckily, they gave him a way out. <laughs> uh, that was the only way he was going to get out. Was somebody uh, stepping to him. Ooh, but, he greeted for the kill. I mean... If it was for literally anyone else, like Ash, I mean, we were fine to do that, but... Yeah, Pantheon dying there really, really made certain things hard, but... It's not like, uh, Swain Ain is really, uh, is really lighting this up either. But, yeah, I, I mean, like I said, the macro is, it is what it is. There... Just looking at the game, I don't know how much longer we got. Oh, we got just another couple minutes. Um, I do have a couple, couple, couple points to uh, to go back to, and basically, Bible was telling me he's like that he was just really aggressive during the laning phase. And I'm just not sure what to, what to do with uh with other um with champions that can do that. Um, cause we, we talked about Nunu, we talked about just a few of them, of like, what, what, what do I do to counteract their, uh, their lane presence? What do I do to, to really affect it? And honestly, at this point, some of it is the fact that, uh, <laughs> there you go. I mean, you can ping that all you want, but that that's gonna be up in time for another uh, for a Baron fight later on. So I think that's quite all right. Hey, he did have to use the flash, but I think in getting Zoe off the map is pretty strong because she can she can stun you, uh, she can sleep you, and walk away. So uh, she's not the best at foot pushing, but she can do it. Uh, we got Swain just giving up, I guess. Or, oh no, okay. I was gonna say. It's like, I, maybe he's typing. Ezreal's shoved up. Dominating. And people just, uh, at this point, we're kind of at a weird, weird position. Uh, just stay back. Let them push to you. Stop, sit. Don't walk out from under tower, because again, it's Kha'Zix. Like, you can't, you can't be alone. You, you can never be alone after a while. But oh, that I was the mistake trying to clear that. I think he just uh, that was a mistake as well. That I was charged as he hopped in after he got exhausted. Um, you, that's just a, a multiple mistakes in a row. Um, I'm sure part of this he just wanted to be doing something, but uh, I'd say it. There's just other things you could be doing there. It, that really sucks. Oh, well. well. Yeah, everyone's just pinging each other, just upset. Oh, well. Okay. Well, that should be it. But... Well, looking at it, um... Edit, there's a couple spots to kind of go back to. Ooh, where was the... Alrighty. 
So we have this first death up here. And when that happens, you generally you should be should be looking to just uh, just get get what you get, not really worry, worry too much about it. Um, um, we do see even there. This was an issue, and it's not from Vi Eibel. It's actually from the fact that oh, I wouldn't be using that. The unfortunate part is that he does not have his flash. So, he can't use it to flash fourth shot in here. Yeah, right here. I hate to say it, they got the flash. But Bible just needed to, to commit to the... Commit to the Braum. He's the one that you know about. And even... We'll put it to you this way. Even if... Even if Ash is there... Um... I understand in that Ash may have been on her back and you're just trying to stop her. But if she's there, if she's not, the one that you have have certain and uh the one that you're certain of is Braum. And you could tell L just by the way that he queued, he was hoping to hit Ash and not Braum, so uh I don't know. It's hard to say, but luckily they got the Braum flash, but I think you could have probably gotten that uh, by going after him, and that was that probably would have been much a much better uh, thing to deal with. Mostly because Brom's job here. So oh, let's go back to this this moment right here. So when this happens, uh, let's go back like thirty seconds when when he came in. So Brom's job here, and they see him is to. Ooh, hold the wave, Ave. Make sure that they can't and just shove it in, in, in and it looks seems like Brahms definitely. Uh, we we do see that Brahms stays. He's viable. I it it's an issue because let's look at the actual the full map. No no fog of war. Yep, Ash is back in time to get as much much of the wave as possible. Um. Yeah, going after Bra on their air was definitely the actual old play here because it stopped them from just raw advancing as fast as possible. That, that or, uh, or actually getting anything going. So that that's probably the first misplay a for or viable. Well, is really, really we need to go after Brom. He may not die, but it forces him to back, back and uh, back as well, leaving the lane completely open for them to shove of and actually uh. And and get uh, and make sure that they actually lose a little bit, because if if Swain and Jin were uh, duo, they should be pushing uh, this way if together, because Swain does have good wave clear. Or um, or with his, uh, I think he's uh, does is he's he's the only level two, level two, level three. He may have gotten level three off that uh, that wave, but um, but uh. But yeah, even his like uh, I I forget what the heck the move's called, but the eyeball, all that comes out of the ground. That move still does damage to waves, and I, it just makes this play a, a lot cleaner by forcing Brom to back, or if he stays, to force him to stay a on really low health to where they may be able to get the execute later on. Um, um, getting the flash is nice, but uh, there's just there's the possibility of getting more. If you go directly for the Brom instead of trying to play for the uh, instead of pl trying to play for the Ash, uh, because realistically you have Jin who has W. Uh, he was level two at the time, so he should ha have that free stun. On uh, you could have stopped him from uh, stopped his, his escape. So uh, queuing to try to stop to block the Flash or try to predict the Flash to get to just to get ahead of him is probably far more important than hitting him with the damage of the Q because he is level four at the time. Now, he's just gotta sit here and uh, and hopefully get um, and get stuff out of it. So I think that's probably play one on, on that we just um, that we look back at right here. Um, this this is just like a buy. Like he he knows too much about this champion at this point. I mean, um. 
I mean, I think... L let's go back. Hold on one second. Um, I do want to look at one thing. Because I think that that's a mistake here. I want to see if we can actually see Bible off this off this word. I don't think you can. Okay. Okay, you cannot. I just want to make sure that we can. I was going to say, if, if you can see him, that's real bad. But, um... Right, anyways. Okay. So we're good there. I mean, getting the dragon's fine. Um, this is actually just a, a, a mistake by, by the Pantheon. Of just not not paying attention to where Vibel's at. And Vibel's doing something a little bit crazy that uh, that isn't normal, which means that you have Kha'Zix coming to you. So even, no matter what, he's also on defense. I mean, he gets this kill, but if Kha'Zix was playing in, in well, Kha'Zix would be here to kill El Pantheon. Um, so there's definitely some mistakes here. Um, the other problem um, he has is like, well, I, I saw Kha'Zix here. Er, he didn't check how much uh, CS he's got. Yep. See, and he, and he just stayed aid on a, on a close kill and just gave it right back to him. But yeah, what he should have done before he did that was check, um, check CS because he saw Kha'Zix here. He could have actually been on his way, probably all the way to here, as we saw Kha'Zix. Uh, where is that kill? How much health he's got? He got... Well, we're still... Where's he at? He's still level 4. But we have a wave. If we know that Kha'Zix is, is there. We have a, a good size wave. He could be here er, er, trying to pressure Kha'Zix, so... Uh, he may be behind, but... He has Dirk. He has Dirk. And Vi's damage uh, image is going to be a lot better, better because he has a cannon wave with him. So I think he wins that trade, especially because he'd also be at full health at that time. So just I, if I was him, I would I would definitely pay a lot more attention when not just when he sees Kha'Zix, but looking at his stats to figure out like to count the CS in your head. Um, I know that's really hard to do in the moment of just uh, paying attention to whenever he shows up on the map of how much Ming, uh, CS he has, but uh, we could have we could have made this prediction of where he was at at and how and what uh, camps he had. So looking at that at number is really important, and I don't do it all the time. I actually. Sometimes when I'm playing jungle, I have a really hard time doing it. So if I'm, uh, but he's definitely a better jungler than me. Um, and that could be another way a, to just not, uh, not because he probably wasted a good 20, 30 seconds doing that. Uh, just because he doesn't have boots. He doesn't have movement speed to try to get over there fast enough. So um, he could, he at least could have been there to, to watch over that play. And could be right here as Kha'Zix is, uh, is there. And then Kha'Zix doesn't get this kill as well. I mean... Because Kha'Zix would be dead. And coming off... Uh, or at least ha has less priority to uh, to do stuff, you know? Because right here, so we see Kha'Zix has 40, which means that he took his Raptors. He took A Camp and then took uh, Scuttle, is what he did, so... Alrighty. And so we saw Kha'Zix coming up. So they should know that he's there. Yep, there it is. Like I was saying, uh, we saw Kha'Zix off of that. I think Bible probably should have moved way earlier. Um, but that is Pantheon's fault entirely. Um, for, for staying up while he also just had a massive minion wave. But Vi could have been there to uh, to really make a play against it. Right now, because Kha'Zix is really big for... Um, uh, he's a really strong ganker. Into Kha'Zix specifically, and probably into other champions uh, that are like this as well. What Bible should be trying to play for is just... Um, is 
counter ganks into it because most of the time they have very solid uh, single target damage and counter ganking and being present on the map that way is uh, probably far more important and especially as Vi who with her ultimate becomes relevant the entire game so I think those couple mistakes things like, like that are definitely where he starts falling apart and at this point Kha'Zix is 4-0 and, ha uh, and has his mythic the game isn't lost here, but it's definitely it's definitely an issue, and we're starting to get to the point where um, where things are starting to shake out out to where yeah, I just have to play into Kha'Zix. Um But yeah, so I think a lot of it is staying present on the map, your presence on the map as a whole. But anyways, I think that's gonna be it for our kind of the bot odd review. Ooh. Some of this stuff isn't viable's fault out there it's just misplays all around um, but at the same time he could have been there to uh to either clean up up uh get something off of the misplays and keep his team relevant and it just unfortunately just didn't happen for him so um i think it's gonna be it for at least the vod review we're gonna keep streaming uh you can catch this stream at uh twitch.tv slash tech underscore the underscore mac thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully viable this helps you out i don't know how much it'll help you out i know you're definitely better than me at jungle and there's a bunch of decisions you probably made because you know what viable can do so uh what Vi can do <laughs> but anyways you all have a wonderful night and uh we'll see you on the next video